Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about redirects, specifically with the Ghost hosting platform. So what is a redirect? So basically a redirect is, if you have a deleted post or a deleted page, or maybe a post that you didn't use the keyword as the, the meta title so it doesn't show up in the URL, those are all options of instances where you might wanna use a redirect. So let's dive right in. So basically what we're looking at here is we're looking at the posts uh, section of Ghost. Um, so we're gonna go down and actually we're gonna click on pages. We're gonna go through the whole process. So we're gonna create a new page. We're gonna title it delete, delete. And we are going to make sure it has a title. Okay, delete, and we're gonna type in delete. Okay, so then we're gonna publish this. Okay. All right, so we have this new page called delete. So what we can do now is just, we wanna confirm that the delete page is active and it's live and it is. So here's the page for delete. So let's just say, for example, that instead of this being a delete, a page, maybe it is a one shop blog post, maybe it's an old article, maybe it's a, a blog article that you created, but for whatever reason, you created your own title and you didn't type in the keyword here in the page URL. Um, if it's old and you don't want it anymore and you want to delete it, you don't just want to unpublish it. You want to actually delete the post itself. Um, it actually doesn't matter if it's a post or a page. You can delete them both and redirect them. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to first, we're going to unpublish. So unpublish that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to try to load it. And it obviously brings back a 404 which is fine, that's what we're expecting. So keep in mind, if this page that you're deleting was previously indexed, that's the reason mainly that you wanna set up a redirect. Because if there's pages in Google Search Console that are indexed and they're not redirected, you're gonna throw a bunch of 404s depending on how many uh, pages that you either delete or you unpublish. So we're gonna go back over here to pages and we're gonna go back. You can see that it's not published. So we're gonna actually go ahead and we're gonna delete this. So let's go down and hit delete page. Okay, all right, so now what? So we have it deleted, but if we go back to the page itself, it's still throwing a 404. So how do we fix that? So there's a couple different ways that we can redirect it. You can redirect this to back to your home page. You can redirect it to another post or another, another. Um, if you have another like keyword, um, like meta title, you can, you can redirect it to that, or what you can do is you can actually redirect it to a tag. So we're gonna go through all three of those steps. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here. So in your Ghost console, you're gonna click on the gear, and then you're gonna click on labs over here. And then down here is gonna be a section called redirects. So what this is, is redirects, it stores a file of basically all the pages or the posts that you have set to redirect. So what you can do is you can click on download current redirects, and I have mine downloaded here. And as you can see, this is a lot. This is a lot. I went through and I did a mass cleanup of a lot of the old uh, posts and articles that I had. Um, I don't recommend that uh, to do such a large number, but this is something that I wanted to do. So here's what my redirects.json looks like. Um, so I'm gonna simplify it a little bit and I'm gonna go over here to untitled. So let me zoom in here a little bit and we can take a look. So instead of it saying untitled, it would say redirects.json. So here is the, here's the line of code. So it's important to note that not only at the front, but also at the back, there's a, a open bracket and there's a closed bracket. So you wanna make sure that those are both there or else it's gonna throw you all kinds of errors. So think of every individual line as a new post that you wanna either delete, that you deleted, or that you wanna redirect to a tag or back to the homepage. So the first one, um, I just labeled this as old post, but what we can do is we can actually type in, we can type in the word delete, uh, because that was the, the title of our last post, the page that we deleted, um, and we can redirect it. So we don't have a new post. I don't wanna redirect it to anything. So if I wanted to redirect an old post to a new post, this here is where I would redirect it to. So you don't need the full domain. Um, you can just type in what's after the first slash. So for example, if I if I created a new page called 
uh, let's see, not dash deleted. And I wanted to redirect it from delete to not dash deleted. This is the code that I would use. So this is gonna be a permanent redirect. So it's not temporary, it's gonna be permanent. Um, so that's the first example. The second example is if you have this the delete post right here, um, in between the two slashes, you wanna make sure that the, the URL here is in between the two slashes. So if we go out and we go into back to posts or pages, and we can just use this one for an example. You wanna make sure that whatever is here in where this is slash about, um, that's in between, that's gonna be in between the two slashes. So we're gonna put that here and then it says two. And then if you see the one slash by itself, as in this example right here, this is gonna to redirect to the homepage, to the main homepage. So you don't have to type in a big, long, fully qualified domain name or anything like that. Just type in the slash, the one slash, make sure it's the uh, the forward slash, so from the bottom left up to the top right. And uh, same thing, permanent and true. So this is something that you would use if you wanted to redirect just to the homepage. So for every post or every page that you actually wanna redirect, you don't need to enter multiple line items like this. You just decide what do you wanna do? Do you wanna redirect the old post to a new post? Do you wanna redirect the old post to the homepage? Or do you finally, do you wanna redirect the old post to a tag um, and have it list you know your the other articles that are part of that tag so that's the last part that we're going to cover so this last line item right here so we're going to delete this so this is going to be delete which was the old post and then we're going to do two and then tag is always going to be there no matter what no matter what um the tag is called you always want the the prefix tag and then slash and so the a real life tag that i had on my that i do have on my site is called technology so i put tag slash technology and then always make sure to have that closed um, slash at the end. So, and then once again, this is gonna be permanent and true. So the one thing to note, if you don't have commas in between after uh, the first two or three or however many you have in there, you need to have a comma at the very end after the bracket, um, after this, I'm not sure what this is called, but after that thing, you need a comma. But at the very end, you don't need to have a comma. You just need to have this little bracket thing and then whatever this is, and then a closed bracket. So no comma at the very bottom level, but you need commas at the end of all of them. So um, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to upload this. So we're gonna click down on this. So we're gonna go over back to Ghost, and we're gonna click on the Ghost settings over here, the, the gear, and then click on labs. And then what we can do is we're gonna click on upload redirects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the redirects.json. So if we click this, and I can actually upload it because I haven't made any changes. So it's gonna show you a preview of everything that's in your, your redirects file. So then you click on open, and it's gonna go through. And as long as this is green, the uploaded button has a green background, you know everything's good. Everything's good to go, it didn't throw any errors. Um, it'll tell you in red font down here if there's any errors, and it'll basically it'll tell you specifically what line. So this is line number one, line number two, line number three, line number four. It'll tell you exactly where um, where the error is or where something went wrong. So once you have that uploaded, then what you can do is, I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll go into my live redirects file um, and I'll just pick this one. So housewarming gifts. So I'm gonna copy this and if we go here, and I'm gonna paste that housewarming gift. So this was an article that I deleted. So click on that, and then it's gonna to redirect to the homepage. And that's what that's gonna look like. So as you can see, it's redirecting to the homepage. So there's only one slash. So it doesn't show slash tag. It doesn't show going to a new article. It's just the one slash, which is the homepage. Um, if you wanna do it to a tag like this one, we'll just copy this one down here. Um, this is what it looks like if you redirect to a tag. So we're going to type in the main domain and then type in that. And then this is going to be redirected to the tag. So it lists all of the articles that are tagged with technology, for example, and it lists everything. So this is a way that you don't want to have everything just redirect to your homepage. In the eyes of Google, you want it to kind of be broken up if it makes sense. So that's why I just kind of separated it out. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. That's redirecting in a nutshell, the redirects.json. If you guys like this content, if you found it beneficial and it helped you out, if it was easy to follow, please like the video and also please consider subscribing. That would greatly help out the channel. Until next time, be well, be safe. Thank you.